This is not a drill. We are at condition 10. Which one of these two trucks is the most evil one? Well, how about we find out by looking at these two big rigs from both horror movies. One's from 1971 and the other one is from the 80s. Hey Breaker Y9, this is a rubber duck. Coming to all truck drivers out there, better watch out because uh, two care trucks are on their way to the Dixie Boys truck stop. So avoid the area at all costs. Roger that. I'm gonna change directions. Gotta make sure I don't pass and fuel at this station. Otherwise I might gotta get killed by one of those two bad boys. Well, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna have a special video for you to view today. We're gonna take a look at both of these fantastic trucks from Diecast Promotion. One is obviously a custom model that I made just a few weeks ago. And this one is a really from Diecast Promotion of a replica truck of the Maximum Overdrive movie from 1986. One is a famous truck for killing people by rolling by himself, having a hideous looking face on the front of the truck, being this uh, goblin face here. It's a white Western Star 4800, featuring a black paint job and some nice chrome wheels on the front. This big fella here is going against a few people hanging out the Dixie Boys truck stop and try to kill them by running them over, by destroying the buildings or by doing various stuff. All the stuff, the action they can see in the movie itself. On the opposite way, we have a serial killer that is driving a big rusty old Peterbilt 281 rolling in the California desert and is uh, only way, only objective is to kill the drivers that slow him down on the little roads. As you can see, already made a few victims by looking at the license plate that he have display on his front bumper of this truck. So if you guys know, I don't know. So if you guys ask me how I make the uh, Peterbilt 281 from Duel, you can go on my cycle channel and see the complete build of the truck itself. Now we're gonna take a quick look at this truck in this video and we're also gonna compare it to the uh, Maximum Overdrive Big Rig. So this truck here, it is a diecast promotion tooling. This is the Peterbilt 351 that I use to make this replica of this truck. And as you can see, I decided to go ahead and replicate the um, the main truck of the movie, which is the 281 featuring a Caterpillar motor. I also put the correct license plate on the front of this bumper because in the movie duel they use three different trucks. And uh, sometimes the uh, plates vary depending on the truck that they were using from some scene. For example, this truck was used in the, the main action sequences, so mainly, most likely all the chase with the uh, Valiant and uh, the spare truck and also the uh, extra truck that was used for the additional scenes in 1973 uh, it was used on different scenes like uh, this truck was used in the tunnel when you have the school bus coming around and also the other scene when you have the train passing and the, the valley waiting on the uh, railroad crossing and the truck coming around at the back of the valley and pushing it into the train so anyway, as you can see, I make a very outstanding job and very precise job to replicate the original truck. And I was making sure I did not miss any detail when doing so. Like uh, adding the uh, little mirror here for the uh, stacks, the extra spotlight on the uh, passenger side, also painting all the um, 
air cleaners. And the most difficult part was definitely making that uh, rusty paint job using uh, different uh, brushes, make it achieving that look. Even those wheels were not easy to do and replicate. More of all, I'm pretty happy with the result. I also add the uh, extra hell hose on the back that was not coming on this uh, truck originally. And yeah, also add the, the, uh, the box in the back of the cab. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty happy with the original result of this truck. And uh, same thing for the trailer. That sucker was also difficult to do. This one's actually a major casting. This is the uh, fuel tank that you will find in the 3000 series. Coming with most likely a Scania or a white truck. And uh, what I basically do is I pick up this trailer and uh, I put some old bunch of putty to remold the uh, original trailer from Duel. Cover this up, making the doors on the side, putting the um, landing gear, also uh, move the fifth wheel to make it more easier to maneuver with the truck attached to it. Put some uh, die cast promotion wheels on the back. And of course I all replicated with Photoshop the original stickers and the uh, decal work for the truck. And overall this truck looks very menacing, just like the real 1-1 scale version. Now for the maximum overdrive, this one is not a custom, this is a official release by that cast promotion. This is also the first release of this uh, new tooling. And as you can see, DCP made a very nice job replicating this truck. You got that opening hood. This is not the correct engine though for the movie truck. Uh, the truck added Detroit Diesel. Uh, we should be green. This one is more a regular engine. I think this is more a common engine, but I'm not really sure. But they did make a nice job with the uh, goblin face on the top of the truck. Also the uh, decal work here for the uh, mask. And of course the shiny black paint job and the nice stacks that goes on the side of the truck. And for that Tools trailer that you have here, this is the same tooling I used for the um, a lot of the vintage uh, trailers. But uh, this one you have the extra uh, decal work for the Happy Toys version. Uh, I don't think I remember opening the uh, doors in the back on my uh, review video for the, uh, the maximum overdrive truck, but I think it's just the uh, regular floor. Yes, regular floor. Wood floor, excuse me, for the back of this trailer, so nothing special. Would have been nice if they had put some uh, blood uh, dipping or something more nasty on the inside of the trailer, making uh, uh, you think that this uh, truck uh, will have killed more people, even though. Just like in the movie. So anyway, let's attach this truck together. And uh, let's park it right next to the uh, dual truck. So this is 1950s rig. This one's more 1970s, early 80s truck. So there's a quite a bit of difference between these two trucks, especially in terms of size. This one's definitely more vintage looking. You can see with the uh, the fenders, the round headlights and the more narrow nose compared to this one. I think they call the, the truck the needle nose, but I'm not really sure. But uh, yeah, so two killer trucks. So let me know guys, uh, which one is your favorite, which movie is your favorite, and which truck is your favorite. And uh, yeah. So let me know guys, which one is your favorite, which movie and which truck. And if you have the chance to one, take one for a test drive, which one would you pick up? Personally, I think I will go with the, uh, the dual truck. I just freaking love this movie. And this is one, uh, one of the very first one I watched also with my grandpa back when I was a kid. 
back in the early 2000s, so that's a long time ago. But uh, I watched this movie, uh, Maximum Overdrive, way later with my mother, uh, when I was in my teenage years. And I also really enjoyed this movie. And overall, these are just two very iconic Hollywood trucks, two killer trucks, and two very nice trucks. So, let me know guys which one is your favorite, and I will see you in the next one. Sorry Christine in the car, but I think you are no match against these two trucks. <laughs>